So have you ever wondered if a male and a female dog can live in the same house while she's in heat and not go crazy? Let's see, it is 11.30 in the afternoon. Monroe has been in heat for over two weeks. This is Tonka <laughs> taking a nap. They are kept separated but still inside of the house. And you can see he's just laying there sleeping and being super chill. Now, if I were to let him get close to her and smell her, it would be completely different. He would be pacing and whining and crying. Um, so I keep them separated. I don't let her go potty anywhere near where he's going. I take her out front and take her for a walk. He gets to go into the backyard. So he doesn't smell her pheromones or anything. Because that's really what gets a dog crazy is the smell. So when she urinates, she's spreading around. Hey, I'm in heat. Come see me. You know, let's go on the date. And um, so I prevent that. We had some good rain out in the backyard the last couple of days. And so all of her scent has been washed away. Before it, he um, when she was probably about 10 days in, he was whining a lot and pacing because he could smell her scent still. So once her scent was gone, he was super, super much better. Um, and so this is how he is. And I'll show you where I have Monroe. So Tonka's in the kitchen and he has a garage that he can go into. And then Monroe Hey big guy. He says hi guys. Monroe is back here. She has the bathroom. In the hallway, she's got our bedroom and this bedroom that she can go into. But she pretty much chills out in the hallway. Hi, big girl. And you can see she still has her panties on. Because when a female dog goes into heat, what some people don't know is they actually bleed. Yeah. Once the bleeding stops and um, turns to a, a reddish, watery, tintish color, then they're ready to mate. She's about to that stage now. Hey, Ro. Their, their um, vulvas also swell up. So that's how you know that they're ready to breed too. Hey, Monroe. Monroe. She's cleaning her house. She's like, well, I'll clean my booty, Mom. Hi. Hi. Oh, thanks. Yeah, no kisses. I don't really want those right now. <laughs> now, I also leave the TV on and leave it rather loud so that they don't hear each other too. So I try to keep them, you know, pretty much chill. Now Tonka's saying something because I'm up and talking and he would do that regardless because that's what he does when I talk. He has to talk too. Tonka loves to talk when I talk. What you got there? So you can see it's completely possible to keep them separate. Now at night, Monroe goes in our bedroom and the door gets shut, so there's no chance of her getting near Tonka if he were to break out or anything. So, as long as the scent stays away, he's pretty chill. Let's go see him. Are you talking? Are you talking? Hi. What are you doing? He's like, oh, mom, you touch her. That's something I try to do, too. When I touch her, I try to wash my hands before I see him. See, he's like, see, he's getting a little excited. He's like, oh, I smell her. So I try to keep the scent completely away from him. Okay, I'm going to wash my hands. Hold on. Stay. Stay. Sit. Sit down. <coughs> yes. Oh, and I, I use scent scents. I got to tell you this, I spray Lysol around and then um, out here I have this um, eucalyptus oil that I put in this cool humidifier thingy and I even have on the back of the door a car deodorizer. So I try to, to mask the scent of Monroe's 
pheromones. <laughs> okay, let me wash my hands. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, you gonna go outside? Come on, you go outside. <laughs> so I hope this video is helpful for you guys and helps you to understand and see that you can keep them. It's, you have to be vigilant with it for sure. But you can keep them together, but separate at the same time. And have no puppies come out of it. Right, Tonka? Tonka says, oh, but why? We want some puppies, Mom. Nope, no puppies. Not, not for a while. Tonka's also taken quite a few cold baths. <laughs> he's, he's been into the pool a few times. Okay, you guys have a blessed day. Later.